So this is question number six. The half life. So now all this time we were doing doubling time. Now we are going to deal with um, the time for a radioactive substance to become half of itself. So the half life of a radioactive substance is 50 years. So T subscript half, that's the half life time, is 50 years. We start with a certain amount of substance. What fraction? We really don't care about how much we start with because we're only looking at a fraction of what will remain in 200 years, just like the previous problems. So first, let's write down the formula. So the new value equals the initial value, but remember this is not doubling, it's reducing, it's radioactive decay. So it's going to become half of itself, it's an exponential function, but decreasing exponentially. So t over t half. So we already know the half life, which is 50 years. We know that needs to be plugged in here. The time that has gone by is 200 years. Okay, and we're going to figure out what fraction or what factor of it remains after 200 years. So in order to get the fraction that remains, we do the same thing. We divide both sides by I. So this is I half to the power of T, which is... 200 years divided by t half which is 50 years and that is n over i this gives us the fraction this is the fraction that we're looking for the fraction that will remain um, after 200 years so this is equal to one half to the power of 200 over 50 so that is um, 50 goes 4 times into 200. So n over i is equal to 1 to the 4th power, which is 1 divided by 2 to the 4th power. So that's equal to 1 over 16. So what this tells us is that if the half-life of a radioactive substance is 50 years, then in 200 years, it'll be 1 16th of itself. No matter how much you start with, what remains is only 1 16th of it, a tiny fraction of it is left over. And the next question is, how much of it is left in 300 years? The, we do the same process. So T half we know is 50 years. Now the time that has gone by is slightly more. So that is 300 years. And we're going to use the same formula. N over I is equal to half to the power of T over T half. Since we're talking about half life, it's T half. And that's why this is half. So now the fraction of it that remains is N over I. So n over i is equal to half to the power of t, which is 300, over t half, which is um, 50 years. 50 goes 6 times into 300, because each 100 contains two 50s. So 50 goes 6 times into, um, into 300. So this is equal to one half to the sixth power which is the same as one to the sixth power which is really one and two to the sixth power which is um let's see 
88, so 64. So what, what I want you to notice is this. 1 16th of it was let. It was a tiny fraction in 200 years. But look what happens in 300 years. It's exponential decrease. Only 1 64th of it is left over. 